Hello, my name is Jose Paez from Community Services for Children, and today I'm going to be going over the various web browsers that are out there for accessing the internet. As you'll see here, I have four icons on my desktop and then a photo of an icon. Uh, I don't have this downloaded on my computer, but I wanted to show you the image. Uh, this would be the icon photo for Safari on any Apple products. So whether that be an iPhone, an iPad, or a MacBook laptop through, through Apple, um, you would have this icon on your desktop and that would allow you to access the internet. If you have a Windows computer such as the one I'm using, then you would have Microsoft Edge and Internet Explorer already downloaded on the computer. And sometimes you'll have Google Chrome already downloaded on the computer. Another option you have is Firefox. So the five most common ones are Firefox, Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Internet Explorer, and then Safari if you're using an Apple product. My recommendation and what I'll be uh, demonstrating with today is to use Google Chrome. Um, it tends to be the easiest web browser to use. I find it the most user-friendly. And then the other benefit of it is it has multiple programs that are linked through Google. So if you access any YouTube videos, if you access a email account through their Gmail program, or when using Google Classroom, which is the preferred education platform for Allentown School District, um, it can all be through that same Internet Explorer uh, or that same uh, Google uh, Chrome program. So what I'm going to show you here is if you do not have Google Chrome, and say you had Internet Explorer or Microsoft Edge, what you would want to do is click on the icon and it'll load the internet here. And then what you're going to want to do is go to google.com. And then once you're there, you can just search Google Chrome. And usually the first link that pops up, Google Chrome right here, you click on that, and then you could select Download Chrome. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow you to then add the Google Chrome uh, web browser to your desktop. And so then you'll be able to open up the web browser and you can use this section here as either typing in the exact web address or you can use that to search for various things by just typing in what you're searching for. So uh, there you have it, the four most common as well as Safari. You can choose to use whichever one you would like, um, but again, my preference would be Google Chrome. It's a very user-friendly product and very easy to navigate. So thanks so much for tuning in. I hope this helps and I hope that allows you uh, to download a web browser. Hola, mi nombre es Aile Campuzano de Community Service for Children. Hoy voy a revisar los diferentes navegadores web comunes para acceder a internet. Como puedes ver aquí, tengo cuatro, cuatro navegadores diferentes y una foto de otro que es Safari. Y ese prisma, pris Principalmente los tienes los productos de Apple. Y si tiene Windows como yo, yo tendría Microsoft Edge y Internet Explorer en la computadora. A veces tiene que descargar Firefox y Google Chrome. Google Chrome es el Internet más beneficioso porque es el más fácil y tiene muchos programas que están conectados a Google como ahí a YouTube o Google Classroom, que vas a usar en las escuelas. Si tienes Microsoft Edge o Internet Explorer, vaya para Internet Explorer y busque Google.com. Y busque Google Chrome.
puedes seleccionar Google Chrome y descargarlo si no lo tiene. Abre Google y escribe lo que estás buscando. Abres Google y busca y escribe lo que está buscando. Por ejemplo, escuela. Y me tiro toda la, toda la foto de la escuela. Espero que esto le haya ayudado y que tenga un buen día. Adiós.